Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about setting the report, uh, repeating characteristic of the background image that's being used. Uh, the default property for background image is repeating horizontally and vertically. And with CSS you can actually set the repeating rules for background images. Okay, so let me show you uh, how that will be done. Let's open up the CSS folder. I have an index.html and inside the same folder I have another folder that's called image img and inside the image folder I have um, this top header image okay and then I just have a, a little tiny image that's named top okay this is the header image this is the top image okay and I'll show you how we would use this top image to create a, a nice looking border like what we have here in ogsolution.com okay so let's go back a level and let's open this index.html up okay so you see that it's a HTML file with uh, empty style sheet inside the body I have a table that has cell padding 0, cell spacing 0, border 0, and then width of 300 okay and then I have just one row with one cell inside the cell I have a 3BR line of text and three more BRs okay line breaks and so let's see what it looks like in the browser right now So in the browser it looks like this. Three BRs created this much vertical space and then I have three more BRs which uh, is not very visible. Okay, So let's minimize this. And what I want to do is I want to create a border like this. Okay, With just that tiny top image. Okay, Let's take, bring back top style. So inside the table tag, I want to give it a background image. I'll create a style called BG image. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to use this um, drop down box, you can press uh, escape key. But I like using it. Um, we have, um, of course, the prerequisites to have setting uh, the repeat rule is to have a background image okay so let's first set up the background image let's use top style to choose image and uh, I'm looking into the image folder and I'm looking at the top image so it will be image slash top right and then uh, let's create another rule uh, let's create the background repeat so it's background dash repeat colon and let's see our choices we have repeat X repeat Y no repeat or repeat uh, repeat is the is the default uh, property so if you want it to repeat you don't even have to set it so you can either have a repeat X which is only repeat horizontally or repeat Y which is vertically or no repeat so it'll just show that image let's try the no repeat for now okay let's uh, let's assign it to the table okay let's set it here class equals BG image space like that escape okay let's save it and see what we see let's take a look at it in browser bring back Firefox and let's refresh it so you see with no repeat that top image is just right there right and it doesn't get repeated so let's see if we change this you can see that uh, with top style you can just change it right here repeat X and that's what we want let's minimize it bring back Firefox refresh so you'll see that the, the image is being repeated that single image is being repeated 
throughout the width of the table. Okay, I give it the width 300 for the table. That's my purpose. Okay, or else it'll just stop here where the text ends. Okay, and uh, I gave it some space so uh, our text doesn't overlap the dark color background. Okay, and you can also let's bring back top style just to let you see if we change it to repeat Y, what we get. Okay, save, minimize, bring back Firefox, let me refresh. So it repeats ver vertically, okay? So um, this is a very, very useful function uh, that you can use throughout your uh, web page building, okay? But uh, remember, you need to have a background image set and um, Remember that background only shows up in the occupied space or in the container where you specify width or height. Okay, so um, just to um, reiterate why use repeat um, this repeat function. Uh, a lot of times you don't know how big your container is going to be, so you won't be able to create a fixed size background image. If they if the uh, container stretches beyond the size of your fixed size background image, you'll see an ugly gap. Okay, so we don't want that. Okay, another reason is um, file size. Let me just bring it up to you real quick. This file is only 299 bytes. Okay, while this header image is, let's see. 5.39 kilobytes, okay, which is a lot bigger, and which is unnecessary, okay. So that's that's the reason, okay. Thank you.